Klaus got the overgrow spell on the right hand side to stop the log launcher from going further. Welcome back to the 2v2 Invitational and we have got a epic matchup for you today. Klaus and Temper versus uh, Ghost and Max. Now, a little birdie told me they're going to be doing all creative attacks. So this is one for the books. You will enjoy this one. And Temper is kicking this one off and he's bringing in a bunch of bats. He started with the Warden on the north hand side. So he's going to clear out some funneling and he's also got a Skelly Donut in the heart of this base. He's going to get that clan castle and the multi inferno down. Oh, actually, maybe not the clan castle. The multi inferno is down. The clan castle, though. Oh, no. Did he miss a spell? That is unfortunate because the problem now is he doesn't have a poison spell to help deal with those clan castle troops. So we'll have to see what is hiding in that clan castle there. The Warden is continuing. He's doing his job very well. Going for that multi-inferno now. A few more rocket loons to clear out some more funneling there on the left-hand side of the Warden. We also had a Hound with some more loons and a Dragon Rider on the left-hand side to clear up. And they can actually snipe oh, the Eagle Artillery. We found a Seeking Air Mine, however. The Root Rider will be successful. Blimp is going to go for the Town Hall. A few loons were there to scout, test for any traps, but the Blimp will secure the first star on the board in this attack. Now, we've got the King on the south hand side. A bit more funneling. Queen is also coming in here on the right hand side. A bit more funneling. So, King's going to go for the Multi Inferno. Queen's going to hopefully go towards that right hand side. Now, there is a Bat Bomb placed over the scatter shot on the left hand side so he's eliminated all of the splash damage and he's holding on to the freezes for the remaining one and actually he held some more bat spells as well and he's doing a double bat bomb on this base now the clan castle troops are emerging from the clan castle Oh no, is this going to be a problem? He has the Royal Champion on the north hand side with the ability still up. We have the bats that are still clearing from the left hand side. We have the Inferno Baby Dragon trying to defend in the core of this one. Queen still has her ability. She's already dealing with some of these witches that just keep on spawning. He's freezing the Clan Castle troops. He's got 45 seconds. He has got enough. Just will he get distracted enough to time fail? Because there are a lot of skeletons that keep on spawning. He finally makes it through 30 seconds. Clan Castle down the dark storage as well. First hit, first triple. Ghost and Max have to respond now with a triple. Max has a bunch of skeleton spells for a Skelly Donut and the Valkyries. And I see some sneaky goblins in there for the Town Hall. Now he's going in for both multi-infernos, both scatter shots as well. What in the value? Oh, he made the multi-inferno invisible. <gasps> oh no. Oh, he could have gotten it down. That is unfortunate. It will regenerate all of its health back up. Sneaky Goblins did clear up around the outside and test and go for the Town Hall and secured that star on the board already. Now these Valkyries are coming in already. They're coming in hot for this right hand side. Poison spell down as well to help with those Clan Castle troops. Warden ability on nice and early. There is a drill in here as well. Good value to save the drill's health to keep it alive because it does good value by stunning some of these defenses. The monolith is already secured on this base. Now, Queen goes to ability on the left hand side, giving her some healers and turning her into a mini Queen charge over there on the left. Now, King went for the right hand side compartment, cleared that entire side out. Will go to revive though, and unfortunately will not be with us much longer. Now, the Queen also went down, which only leaves us with the Royal Champion on the north hand side, the Valkyrie did pull those healers over, which are now onto the Royal Champion, trying to keep her alive. Now, Max has a few more troops here to try and help finish this. And he also has the drill, which will be able to give him some additional troops. There is a single Inferno still up. This is honestly pretty close to some headhunters that can help out with the enemy king in the clan castle. It's got some more Valkyrie.
Valkyries. This time, I think they're Super Valkyries. I see those rage spells on the back. You can see him cheering already. There's the Valkyrie. We got under the rage with a healer as well, which is huge. The Royal Champion still alive. Now, I thought this was close, but Max got it done, responded with a triple, calling it even, and it could be anybody's war at this point. The man, Klaus, is coming in with a Noah's Ark, and it might... We've got four invisibilities, three uh, skeleton spells in the mix here as well. Let's see if this one can come in with a triple, because that would be ideal, putting a lot of pressure on Max and Ghost. Now, he has got a Flame Flinger on that left-hand side. There is a Mortar right there, though. So he does have to be careful. Skelly Donuts going off as well on the Clan Castle and on the Monolith. Back-to-back -back invisibilities dropping in hot. And this time, the Clan Castle goes down alongside the Monolith. Now, he had a Valkyrie distracting the Mortar so the Flame Flinger could get it down. And he also had a Skeleton Spell um, on the left-hand side, it looks like, to try and distract some defenses. There are some hidden testers there, so the Electro Dragon could actually do some really good value and get some pretty decent chains off into this compartment. Some Headhunters trying to get the enemy King down. Some more traps are popping up. And Klaus has also got the King down. Now, with the funnel that the Valkyrie even created, for the distraction for the Flame Flinger, the King can actually backtrack into the Town Hall compartment and secure the Town Hall. Now, the King is in here. He is low, so one shot will get it done. And now we shall continue. Now, he's sending in those heroes with the beginning part of the Noah's Ark, which tends to be the heavy, tanky troops. He's got those ice golems. He's got some root riders in here just to help push these heroes in a little bit longer. Now, he can't take more than three. And he's got two at the moment and no more left. So this is ideal. And he's also got the Overgrowth spell on the right-hand side. So everything's going to count everything in here as null. It's going to be completely void. And they're going to go towards the north-hand side. Now, that does not mean that they're indestructible towards the end. He just has to go and clear up those defenses at the top before backtracking to the right-hand side. He does have the World Champion going into that compartment already with one dragon on the north for cleanup with the bowler still there as well. Now the Rage Gem has been really valuable for all these tanky troops and the heroes pathing through, giving them some extra damage coming in here. 51 seconds, he still has an invisibility spell, the queen ability, the ha the looking really good here as well. These heroes, they have a lot of health, a few more buildings left and Klaus has done it. This was such an overkill. Noah's Ark, nicely done. There goes the Queen ability, doesn't even need it. Klaus with another triple, the pressure is on. Ghost is in and he brought a barge and he's also got a Skelly Donut as well. Now he's going for three major defenses, the double scatter shot and the multi Inferno dropping them in hot. Oh no, the multi Inferno. <gasps> he made the multi Inferno invisible. It will stay up here. No, that is unfortunate. Because there's not much splash damage left other than that, because we've got the two single Infernos. The Monolith, the Eagle Artillery, is going to do a lot of damage there from the heart of the base, but we really need that multi Inferno down. Now, he's got a few healers there on the ward, and he's taking quite a bit of damage. He's keeping an eye on him, though, see whether he needs to use that Rage or a Freeze. He does go for the Freeze here just to alleviate the Warden off of that pressure here. And now he's starting to send in his Queen with the remaining healers. Some Coco Loons to test for traps for those healers as well. We don't want them to be going down early. And now that everything's slowly pushing in here because that Poison... It's slowing everything down now. There was an Ice Golem that did do a good job at tanking. Queen is taking quite a bit of damage here. All Warden ability active, which also helps with the Wall Breakers to open up to the heart of the base. The Skeleton Spells distracting the single target in the heart of this base. Now, King's on the Town Hall. Royal Champion's jumping directly in between the Eagle Artillery and the Town Hall compartment with the Drill in here. So that's going to be able to tank, but also stun some of those defenses because she doesn't have 
the diggy to do that for her. Now she's got the fox to keep her alive. Those clan castle troops are going to be a bit annoying. Good thing we already got the monolith down as the royal champions frozen in place here. Now he does have the majority of these barge troops still to come. A few of them here on the south hand side. Queen goes to ability as she gets locked onto by the single inferno. Still gets it done from here. She can reach this multi inferno. The hidden testers might be a problem in there as well. The royal champion has her ability still. We've got the haste valve so she'll speed up to try and get some of those defenses down here come more of the arch in uh the archers and the barbarians in on the right hand side a few headhunters for the enemy king there as well but the only thing is we lost the queen we lost the royal champion we've only got the warden left and the barge troops and unfortunately they're getting picked off one by one by these defenses and they have a lot of range here with this ground expo oh that's unfortunate that's unfortunate. Nice try from Ghost. It was a really good attempt. However, we're going to be falling short ever so slightly on this one, which means Klaus and Temper do have the advantage now. They will have that additional star. Oh, look at all those traps. Tried to get as much percentage as possible. We're at the 89% coming in here, which puts them at six stars to five. Now, it's good. It is a creative tournament, and they're all doing all creative attacks. And this is the upper bracket, so they do have a little bit of room for error in here. So we'll have to wait and see if they can recover, because anything can happen with these creative attacks. Tempar is up next, and he brought in the super archers in this one. So we need some of those tanky troops to eat up the damage so these archers can get good value. And he's also combining it with the overgrowth spell. So now he's got that Electro Dragon, did some damage, and by making all of these buildings invisible and invulnerable, the Electro Dragon can easier path towards that uh, Eagle Artillery. However, we're not getting chain value because they're indestructible under the overgrowth spell. Now he already started on the left-hand side. The drill's in the mix here as well as, I think a Yeti was in here too. So we're trying to get some of those defenses down. However, the Scattershot's still standing. The enemy queen did take a lot of damage, but also still up. Now the Eagle Art... Oh, the Eagle Artillery. Oh, no. Is it going to be... Um, to be fair, we actually got no air. It will get some chains before going for the Eagle Artillery. Now, Temper also has the Queen on the south hand side. I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen with the Electro Dragon now, because I don't think it might even not go for the Eagle Artillery. Now, he's distracting the Monolith for his Queen that he deployed. The King's also in the mix here with a Headhunter to get the enemy King down. Queen has the Ice Golem to tank for her at the moment. Oh, this is not looking good. He's got one bad spell that he could use to try... I think that was to try and distract an air defense maybe. But however, he doesn't really have many air troops right now. The Royal Champion's going towards the left-hand side. He's using an invis on the Royal Champion and the Queen. Stopping the amount of damage from both of these heroes. Also, we need that Fox to stay alive. Oh, the Royal Champion and the Fox go down. Queen does secure the Town Hall. Look how many Headhunters are on his King. There's the poison as the king now chases them. I don't think it will even get them all down. Now the final invisibility on the right hand side, which is actually being used to protect the super archers on the right hand side. But this heart of the base, double multi inferno, the single inferno, the eagle artillery. There's a lot still left on this one. This is at the moment lower percentage than the previous attack. This could be the room that Ghost and Max need to take advantage of and gain the lead over Temper and Klaus. Tough. The Eagle Artillery is still up at the very end there. Just did damage throughout the entire three minutes of the attack. Nice try. Max is bringing the mass peckers and he dropped the blimp in so early with the warden ability and he's got the clones are directly on the town hall for a super minion blim now he's making the town hall invisible first so he's actually going to make sure that every all the other defenses are down here as well 
And then once that final invisibility wears off, the minions will go get that town hall down. Do they get this expo? Oh, just. Just. But here we go. Pekka's are already in to the scattershot compartment on the left hand side. A few on the left and the right for some cleanup and a bit of funding here as well. Because he has the king and the queen in here too. Now, is the queen going to go back in? Yes, she is indeed. Now, he's got to jump to connect the later walls. He's got some wall breakers first and the earthquake boots. Did have to go to ability maybe a little bit soon. Good thing he still has one wall breaker and uh, the jump still ready. Can still connect quite a lot of those buildings. There's the jump directly over the Eagle Artillery. But some more Pekkas are on the right hand side and the Royal Champion. They absolutely wiped the right hand side of the base. Now these heroes can join forces and power through the heart of the base. He only has one freeze ready and he uses it here to keep the Royal Champion and the Fox alive. The Fox, I think, is super low. But that's what keeps the Royal Champion alive here. There goes the Royal Champion ability. She's enraged or hasted up. So she's speedy getting those defenses down. Baby Dragon for some more cleanup around the outside. Royal Champion just misses the scatter shot. The Phoenix pulls the Seeking Air Mine. He's not going to be able to help out. Now Queen is stuck in this compartment. And the Unicorn and the last healer trying to keep her at bay. The Scattershot will take that Unicorn out. One minute. <gasps> Queen's going to start to get targeted. She breaks through, gets the Scattershot down. There's a little bit of cleanup on the south hand side. <gasps> but the Queen's going to be stuck in this compartment yet again. She has to break through the walls. He does not look like it's going to be done. He does not look like it. Oh, he's not too happy. This queen is stuck. Best wall breaker in the game, we call it. There's still a lot left. That was nice though. I really wish we got a little bit more value with the earthquake boots. I think he went to ability a little bit sooner than Max expected. But to be honest, getting some decent percentage on here too. We got 90%. 91, 92 should be at least. She's going to get stuck through here again, isn't she? Of course she is. <laughs> of course she is. 93%. Now, it's not the triple that he wanted. But we got eight stars to seven now. Klaus with the 50 archers, 50 barbarians, and 50 Goblin's early log launcher, and he's actually using it to stop the log launcher from going further. And it gets the multi inferno down whilst he does. <laughs> whilst he does the skelly donut, clearing the multi inferno and the clan castle off of this base. And now he's got those cleanup troops here, too. Warden is going to finish off the funneling and we'll be following these troops in towards that right hand side. We got some golems with the queen. So we're going to tank these uh, defenses whilst the queen does the heavy damage under the rage gem from the warden. He's got the eternal tome in here combined with the rage gem. Now a bit more funneling around the outside. He's also got some cleanup on the left around the town hall compartment. He has got five sneaky goblins as well in the mix here now let's see how this goes this expo is beautifully distracted by these golems whilst the queen has access because he opened up these walls beautifully as well to the north hand side more cleanup and here goes some of the barge in at the north hand side to support these heroes warden ability active here now as well just to keep that queen alive we get that uh, Warden down with a few hogs in the mix here too. Not from the Royal Champion ability. Royal Champion has not even been down yet. He had those hogs. Let's see how this goes towards that town hall compartment. Now we cleared up really nicely. The half of the base is gone already. King's going in towards the scatter shot. The enemy queen's here, so he uses that ability already with the Royal Champion. A few more of those uh, boss troops. Whilst the queen goes into the town hall compartment, secures the town hall, freezing the monolith. If this triples, he's secured the victory. 
And we'll be going through to the next round of the upper bracket, staying strong, and it's looking very promising. World Champion ability goes off. Queen's decent health still. We have some more hogs for cleanup. Klaus has done it yet again, did not even need all of his troops here. Look at them all still surviving. 25 seconds and he's cheering. It looked a bit nervous on this one, but triple for the win. And he's staying in the upper bracket. We do still have another attack coming in from Ghost and Ghost does like to do some creative attacks. We have another budge, but I spy some healers and a recall spell as well. And he's already opened up some walls to the right hand side of this base and on the left for the queen that has already been deployed on the left. And she can get some good access here. Oof, Claire, we've got to make sure that we rage up here. Ghost has made sure to not lose that queen ability too soon. There's another wall breaker coming in which will open up to the scattershot compartment. And that is the final wall breaker. So we'll probably recall the queen and I'm assuming go for the second scattershot as well. That's what it looks like. Oh, the queen, the archer, uh, the healers pulled a seeking air mine. There goes the recall spell. And yes, she is deployed on the north hand side, which means in come. The remaining heroes to the left, directly into the single Inferno, which is being distracted momentarily by the skeleton spell. The log launcher does take some damage by it here, unfortunately, making it really low. I don't know if it's gonna open up these walls in time. They should be low though, so they should be able to make through very nicely. The clan castle troops are emerging. Now there are. There is a uh, Electro Titan in here. I think there's only one, not two, which is going to help really, really nicely up against those Clan Castle troops, help push everything quicker. However, the Single Inferno, the Monolith, doing heaps of damage whilst everything is stuck in the heart of this base, frozen in place. They finally are free. Now, Queen's continuing on the right. More of the Barch on the right-hand side, clearing up. Now the Town Hall is still up. <gasps> And everything's doing, getting some damage. Oh, no. Everything's dying off. Gigapoids in Town Hall. We've got the Ricochet Cannons bouncing from all of these troops one by one. We have to make sure the Queen gets into the Town Hall. No. Uh-oh. Queen does still have the Double Ice Golem and a Freeze and a Rage. And he still has the Royal Champion. Well, Champion has been deployed from Ghost on the south hand side. We'll have to go to Ability already. She's got a haste on her. A lot of damage still coming in on her. She does get the Expo down. He's freezing the Town Hall as well as the Ice Golem going off in here. The Rage on the Queen. She's on the Town Hall. She's on the Town Hall and she gets the Town Hall down just about with her ability. We'll step into the Giga Poison. From the Town Hall, these last few healers trying to keep her alive, but not successful against those cannons here as well. So close, 94% two star, but this is not the end for Ghost and Max. Make sure to go check out the Clash Ninja website to check out the bracket, but also to check out and see if your mace is next. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.